helpful to everyone. So if you have any problem, any issue while going through the session, just ping me in the chat. And I appreciate your presence uh, for being here. Now, let me introduce myself. First of all, myself is Manoj. I'm an independent consultant working with SAP uh, from past uh, seven and a half years. Uh, mostly, my career started with uh, uh, BW uh, seven years before, you can say, and seven and a half years before. I started working as a business uh, warehouse consultant at that time, and uh, uh, going forward, I got a chance to work on business object after having acquisition of uh, business object in SAP AG, where I have worked on um, uh, 4.1, 4.0, 3.1, all those versions which is uh, related and belonging to the SAP AG where all the development, whatever development happened by the SAP has in AG was tracked down me onto the business object prospecting. Well, I am currently working as a SAP EPM lead and uh, uh, their our association is mostly uh, to uh, give us a planning and consolidation. Where another project as I'm independent consultant, I'm probably working with one of the project which is related to a business object with HANA. So you could see that uh, uh, my skill set uh, comprises a lot of technology, mostly inclined onto the SAP's end, where uh, I have worked on business object, as I mentioned. I have worked, I'm working on BOPC, which is nothing but the planning and consolidation tool inside my uh, business object family. Well. I'm working currently on SAP HANA with BO. Uh, I have worked on SAP BW with HANA, which is an integrated tool uh, with uh, our famous uh, business warehouse and to end data warehousing tool. Well, I also have worked on BODS. BODS is both the versions, uh, which is an ETL tool uh, in the SAP family. Well, as I mentioned, SAP BW HANA, I'm also expertise in BW 7.3, 7.2, and 7.0. Where combining with this, uh, the skill set apart from this we I have is I'm also uh, having a skill set on MSBI platform, which is on SQL Server side. Um, as of now, I'm database expertise in Oracle, Teradata, SQL Server, and some part of MySQL. At the same time, guys, I also worked on the Cognos, which is another reporting tool from IBM. Okay. As of now, I have served in different, different domains in my experience period, where the domains are telecom, sales, banking, HRMS, and insurance sector. So what I'm going to highlight in my curriculum, I'm going to highlight all these points related to the telecom, sales, banking, HRMs, and insurance going forward with the prospective of business object. We know that business object has started our, in the year 1990 by some of the developers from IBM. They started a company called Business Object. Well, the business object revolution started in the year 1997 when maybe uh, thin client has been introduced in the market. Well, you could see that 1997 is the year which made business object more popular in the market by the release of Thin Client. So Webby Thin Client was enabled to share information across the internet. So that is what the more uh, you know a powerful functionality what Webby was to start delivering in the market on the analytic world to get more and more recoveries towards the analytics. Well, guys. After acquisition of business object by SAP in the year 2007, business object was no more uh, independent company. It's been merged and it's been taken up by SAP and they renamed it as SAP business object. After having acquisition, SAP releases a quick release of version 3.1 in XIR3 in the year 2008. Well. That was a quick release, so there was no much development happened or n not much enhancement happened 
at that point of time. Well, going forward, SAP has released a major release to our business object side, which was year 2011. When SAP AG released this, my business object, business intelligence 4.0 XIR4. Well, each and everything, the whole architecture has been changed and newly been introduced as per the business object family. Where we are going to focus on the layout of uh, on the landscape of SAP, how it is, SAP works, and also we are going to focus on what are the new enhancement going to happen, or uh, which has already been happened in the recent releases. Well, th that will be focused on the going forward session. Where our agenda for this demo is to focus on what exactly the business object is, what type of solution it provides, and also the SAP landscape, where exactly my business object, business intelligence tool stand in the SAP family. So you can see that the major release has been given by SAP AD after acquisition was 2011, which is nothing but BOBI 4.0. So no more we are calling it Bob J, we are calling it business object, business intelligence 4.0 XIR4. So naming convention also been changed with the change of architecture and the whole layout. Well, the recently we got the uh, release in 2013, which is nothing but SAP BOBI for that one. And <clears throat> our training program is focusing on this latest version. So we'll do the comparison with 4.0 and also we'll try to pick up what are the changes majorly SAP AG has done with XIR3 to XIR4 for the people, those who are pretty new in this particular field. Guys, for those who are new, let me tell you, we are going to cover each and everything with the bottom, from the scratch. Well, let me take a tour uh, of my course content, which we are offering in this training program over here. So this program is going to be uh, for 45 hours total where we are covering our data warehousing dimensional modeling concept first of all because this is the basic of your business intelligence where we are also covering the concept which is going to be utilized uh, inside this package for data warehousing your modeling then we'll talk about the architecture of 4.0 which is latest one and how the entire uh, business object uh, infrastructure working well, going forward, we are going to uh, put our hand to look into the reporting perspective of my platform, which is offered inside the business object. Well, the first platform we have, and the popular platform we have for business intelligence inside the business object is Webby. So, Webby on BI Launchpad. The first focus is our to know that how it works how exactly this reporting tool is working, uh, which is hot in the market. So uh, Web Intelligence is the platform which is uh, present in BI Launchpad, and uh, we are looking on all, uh, all those options which is present over there with, uh, uh, with uh, report development, uh, query management, and query designing, uh, uh, data restrictions, and uh, uh, with respect to uh, analysis. So what are the analysis functions we have over here? After looking on it, we are going to check out its co-partner, which is nothing but its uh, rich client version of web intelligence. So we have a special curriculum for web intelligence rich client for that one, where we are going to populate out all those uh, highlight points uh, of this desktop based tool. Where it it allows us to access more of the data sources, so um, our main focus will be always how many data sources we are able to uh, take it in for reporting under this rich client version. After looking and putting our hand onto the reporting end, we are jumping onto the designing area. In business object, we have two parts, guys. Uh, not to forget, we do reporting, we do design of our own sources, which we call it semantic layer. We do a solution of my complexity of databases, which is nothing but a semantic layer. So by the release of 4.0, SAP started giving uh, 
solution for uh, this complexity in two different tools. So we are going to look at the, all, all the prospective uh, of information design tool, which has newly been introduced by 4.0 XIR4 onward, and also the prospective of my universe designing tool, which is still offered inside the 4.1, where we are going to focus on my SAP BW integration with business object, which is going to be with the one click by using IDT tool. We are also focusing on how the HANA integration will happen with business object and what are the perspective which is been used by HANA on the Pisa Blue side. We are also going to create an OLAP connection by using a newly introduced connection given by SAP AG, which is nothing but BICS connection. So this connection is so powerful, it can integrate my OLAP sources, uh, especially my BW. Guys, uh, before 4.0, XIR4, we didn't have uh, this connectivity. We, we were like still using business object that time as an external tool. So there was no powerful connector by which we can integrate them. Now we have inbuilt uh, integration uh, possible for the BW side, where we know that SAP BW is a major product or major module inside the SAP AG family. So uh, my entire other tools are more inclined on BW side always. So we'll see the integration, we'll see how business object can be utilized uh, for reporting uh, on SAP BW sources. So we'll check out all this prospective uh, in this IDT tool side. Okay. And then we'll switch to the universe designing tool, which is an old tool uh, coming from the business object side from the beginning almost, um, where there are some limitations of this tool because of that this IDT uh, has been developed by SAP. So we'll see all this perspective and we'll gather all those uh, knowledge uh, related to modeling, how modeling will done and how the restructuring of my model to the semantic layer used to happen. See, business object is nothing but it's a reporting tool. Business object is nothing but it's a reporting tool used for developing report and doing analysis in a single environment in user-friendly manner. That is nothing but a business object. It's a name which is given over here for this reporting tool. That is nothing but by business object. Well, guys, moving onward, uh, we are going to take a look on uh, other part of my BI solution. I know, uh, uh, Prithvi's, uh, basically, let me answer the Prithvi's question, guys. Uh, Prithvi is asking, what is business object? And he got the answer. And he's asking, uh, so BI is the same view here? Well, let me tell you, guys, uh, after the acquisition of business object, uh, the SAP has did some major changes on naming convention. Previously, the BW was called as business intelligence tool. Yeah, Wang Kong, you can write the uh, your question in the chat. No problem at all. Go ahead. So, Prithvi, uh, for your question, uh, BI is business intelligence, which was the name of my SAP BW, which is a currently naming convention. But BOBI is the whole name of my current business intelligence tool offered by SAP. Yeah, we are coming to the point of Wing Kong CMC, where we are we are we will cover that part of administration as well. Yeah, yeah, we will, we are we are we are going to cover that uh, BO admin part as well. It's not about the CMC only. We are also com uh, covering the whole. Uh, layout which comes onto the administrative perspective, but this program will be more inclined always onto the development side, as it is a development track based program. Okay. So, Prithvi, is it clear to you the answer? Ah, go ahead, Wing Kong. No, okay, no problem. See, BI is nothing but a business intelligence. And business object is a name, where BI also a category, 
category which belongs where we do reporting, we do analytics, that is a category of business intelligence. Where BO is the name of a tool which offers my business intelligence. So all together with the new naming convention we call it BOBI. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, 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 Wing Kong, basically uh, uh, with the basis prospective, the security will be not dealt in this training program because uh, I'm not on, uh, uh, like uh, you, you can say, like I'm not more on admin side, uh, I'm more on development side always. As being an architect, uh, I can say uh, I can deal uh, personally some of the point of your um, basic security, but uh, that will be uh, purely documented. Thank you. I hope my answer is okay. All right. So let me go forward, guys. Instead of wasting time. Okay. Well, um, another. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Exactly, Prithvi. VW was earlier called as SAP BI. Yeah, go ahead, Wing Kong. You can have, uh, you can write down your uh, question there. Well, guys, you will get a chance to ask question uh, uh, at the end of the session. I'll give you adequate amount of time to ask question one by one. So better we will uh, go with the session and let me give you the layout of Business Hub so that people will understand what exactly Business Hub stands for. And then we will go across with the questionnaire. Okay. Always fine. Thank you guys. So uh, I'm also going to cover the other BI solution offered inside the Business Hub. That means other reporting tool. The other reporting tool which still not into the package of Business Object. If you need these specific reporting tools, you need to go for special uh, or separate implementation. Where SAP Crystal Reports 2013 is a recent release with 4.1. Uh, so all aspect of my Crystal Report, which is a pixel clear reporting tool famous for highly highly formatted report, is going to be covered in the inside this curriculum. Parallelly, we are also going to uh, cover one of the other prospective, which is interactive report delivered by SAP Business Object Dashboard. Dashboard for that one. So this is another reporting tool uh, available inside the Business Object site, but not in a package. Like the same like a personal report, if you want to avail the services of Dashboard, you need to do a separate installation uh, at your end. So basically, guys, uh, our our main major tool for BI solution is my Webby. These are my specific solutions and the specific reporting tools uh, available inside my SAP Business Object family. Well, let me go ahead, and we are going to cover our query as web services concept. How things can be managed as web services by using our tool, uh, Quas. Quas is a tool offered inside this package where it allows me to create a, a query as web services and by that we can access any data source alternatively inside Webby and dashboards. Where we are going to look into live office reporting which is supported to the dashboard and uh, how data will be taken uh, from uh, office suit. If data is not directly take, uh, can be taken over here directly. See that, that if I have to take it through the office suit, how do we do that? So we have an add-on called Live Office, given by Business Object, which supports to move data from any sources to uh, office suit. Like um, we can take data in Excel by Live Office uh, from Web Query, and we can do uh, designing of my dashboard based on that. So we will see all this perspective of life of a supporting over here. Where at the end, we have a good offering uh, which is more inclined for the end users uh, for monitoring. We have a widgets which is going to be my desktop based uh, uh, monitoring, uh, you can say, for my reports. I'll put my reports on the desktop by using these widgets and uh, whenever it updates with data, it refreshes out automatically. So there's nothing to uh, 
nothing to worry about to checking your email for looking into the report if there is any update happening. So every day you may not go and check out your emails for getting the update about the reports. Well, you can put it on the desktop and while you're working, you can check that out. Even you can put it onto the mobile devices, which is now uh, a popular part of my business option. Well, I'll deal some of the perspective of mobile devices, but not purely. Where these are the curriculum which is offered by us in this training program. So let me uh, switch back to the slide, guys, where um, I have created uh, a whole picture of my uh, business object scenario and how exactly it will be dealt inside this tool. Well, guys, business object, business intelligence 4.0, starting with that, we have offering of my uh, two different types of tools, my administrative tools and my uh, client tools. So administrative tools always going to offer uh, the administration based on my uh, server management and the entire infrastructure management. Well, CMC and CCM are my tools which is offering us administration. Where CCM stands for Central Configuration Manager and CMC stands for Central Management Console. Where Central Management Console is a main admin console which is a web-based console used for my administration purpose. So we are going to look into these tools uh, going forward, guys, where these are the two tools offered for administration purpose inside my VO suite. Well, we have several tools, as I mentioned. For development purpose, we have IDT and UDT, especially for the modeling. When we are going with creation of my semantic layer, which is a, a complexity, happening at the database layer which we are solving by creating a semantic layer. Semantic layer is nothing but a layer which is defined between user and the database. So whatever the complexity you are having at the database side will be resolved and your sources will be presented at, the, at your end with the simplest manner. And that is we do at the semantic layer side. So we have two designing tool called information designing tool and universe designing tool. Basically guys, I just wanted to focus on universe is my prime source for reporting under business object, business intelligence for that. Oh, well, we have other sources possible. We know that when we go for integration of BW, we can, we can take data from BW where BEX is the tool used for my uh, query designing and based on the query which is designed under BEX, I'm going to do reporting on web intelligence platform. So web intelligence has an instance by which we can connect with the BEX and indirectly we can have a data source as a BW. So BW as a source where query will be designed already in BEX and those query will be populated out in web intelligence instead of doing reporting in BW itself. So generally nowadays what happened guys, SAP BW is end-to-end -end data warehousing tool we have in SAP family where we do modeling, ETL and reporting. So reporting functionality of SAP BW was not that much powerful. To meet the requirement of nowadays era, SAP BW is not on to that platform that it can deliver that type of reporting and analytics. Well, that's why SAP was trying to take some purely business intelligence tool uh, to enhance and support my BW. Well, he got the business option. Where we have a prime reporting tool is web intelligence. So BW, by designing a query on DAX, will be taken up as a source and the whole reporting will be done under B B uh, sorry, Web Intelligence Environment. Well, there is another prospective guys which is coming up uh, in a picture and maybe it will be applied in future that we are going to use BW directly as a source and we are going to uh, design a universe by using IDT tool where 
it will be taken up as a source, either a OLAP or directly will populate the database. So it goes as a relational source uh, in this category, and we can do reporting directly uh, by using this universe. Like uh, I can say, we have two of the prospective, which is uh, nowadays we are doing uh, SAP BW Bex query designing, which is a uh, which is a like a, uh, responsibility of BW consultant. And uh, once the Bex query will be available at our end, we are going to develop a report based uh, on top of it under web intelligence environment. Where another perspective, as I mentioned, is going to be come up, where the Bex is completely going to be removed out. And we can access data from SAP BW directly by using our new uh, designing tool called IDT. So we will have a direct communication between SAP BW to IDT. And by using IDT, we will develop a universe. And on top of the universe, I'll do reporting. OK. On top of the universe, I'll do reporting over here. That is another perspective, which is actually been implemented in 4.1, but rolled out. But going forward in future, this uh, direct communication will make it happen. Where, guys, you can see that we can take data from HANA by using IDT tool. And we can design a semantic layer. And based on that semantic layer, we can do reporting by using web intelligence tool. Well, you could see SAP HANA. And as a source and web intelligence as a reporting team can be used where middleware I'm doing the whole process designing by using IDT tool, which is a designing tool inside my package. I can take data from Oracle database and I can design a universe on top of it by using IDT tool and based on the universe I can do reporting under web intelligence environment. At the same time, guys, we know that we have two offering of designing tool, UDT, where UDT was more inclined previously to the MS Access and SQL Server database. So I can take data even from these two databases, and we can design a universe by using UDT tool, and on top of that universe, I can do reporting under Web Intelligence. So basically, IDT and UDT, they are focusing on two different things. Where you could see that I'm designing a universe based on one connection in UDT. I'm designing a, a universe based on two different sources in IDT. That is what the big difference we have in IDT and UDT. And that was the perspective taken by SAP to develop a new tool called IDT. Where UDT didn't support multi-connection universe where IDT supports multi-connection universe. What I mean by multi-connection, guys, we can take data from multiple sources at a time. So that is a part of your designing purpose, your source designing, which is a simplified layer known as semantic layer, where more, mostly we are doing reporting by web intelligence only, okay, which is present at the BI Launchpad. BI Launchpad is my uh, Java portal, uh, Java portal where uh, we have several application integrated for uh, reporting purposes. Where with Webby is one of my uh, application which is available there. So mostly it's a web-based tool used for uh, our famous because of web intelligence and uh, some of the other application which is present inside it. So we are going to look into the SPBI Launchpad and. Uh, how to do reporting by using the B uh, on the BA launchpad side. Okay, then we have another part, co-partner of my WebE, which is a rich client version. Where when we are working with the rich client version, uh, we have uh, several more data sources available. When I'm looking onto the WebE, I can see that I can take data from Bex, I can take data from universes. So alternatively, I can say whatever the a solution we are providing by IDT and UDT can be utilized as on web intelligence as a source, where BEX can be also used as a source. But how about uh, those clients, the small clients, 
uh, those who are maintaining the data in text and Excel file or suppose we are not having any communication with the sources how do we get the data in my reporting tool at that time my rich client role will be come up guys and there we will find a lot more other data sources uh, available for reporting purposes where maybe rich client is giving me uh, our reporting uh, on top of the data source which is going to be work as web services and text and Excel file. I can take text and Excel file and I can do reporting under my rich client. It's not like that we can't take data from BEX. We can even take data from the BEX and we can do reporting. I also can take data from universes and I can do reporting. Where two of these options are categorized uh, more under the baby rich client as a personal data sources or you can call it external data sources these data sources are not coming from the repository where VW Bex is coming from VW repository and universe is coming from VO repository where what is repository repository is nothing but it's a database Prithvi's, uh, uh, for your question, where is BOBI here? Well, it's a naming convention which is used uh, to uh, where the people, those who are going to use first time this tool in the market. BOBI is a naming convention where commonly we call it business object, where the complete name after the release of 4.0, SAP has given a new naming convention that is nothing but BOBI business object as a business intelligence tool. That is what. There's nothing significant like where is the BOBI. It's a business object, but it's a naming convention which is we call it BOBJ. No, no, this is not the architecture we are talking about. I'm just, uh, I'm talking about the tools offered inside the package and how it has been integrated with the sources. And what are the tools which offers the connectivity with the sources and what are the source we are identifying the sources and we are going forward and uh, 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 we are checking out how do we do reporting on which part we have three different uh, uh, reporting tool inside this uh, package so we are seeing like what are the data sources available in these three okay so architecture will be deal it in the going forward in the session okay not now because it will be a complex for everyone to look into the architecture. Well, guys, um, I'm, I'm going to move uh, forward by this slide. Uh, okay. Exactly, Kevin. Uh, BOBI is a new naming convention given by SAP after release of 4.0 XIR4. Previously, it was called as Bob J. Now we call it BOBI. Thank you. Well, guys, come to the point now. The very rich clients offered me some more data sources, which is nothing but web services, text, and Excel as a source where we can take data. We can take data to BW Bex in my dashboard also. We can do reporting on top of universe. I can do reporting under Bex in my dashboard reporting tool, where dashboard is more inclined on Excel sheet. We take data through the Excel and we do designing of dashboard most of the time. So live office and quas, this is more inclined onto the dashboard reporting tool side. Now the BOBI doesn't include planning and consolidation. Planning and consolidation, Prithvi, uh, it's a different module. Don't worry, just uh, uh, take a look onto the slide. All your queries will be rectified. Don't worry about that. Okay, where we can uh, we can take Crystal Report as a BI tool, where we can access data in two way, either by the universe or by uh, BW connectivity. Where Crystal Report focused uh, more on taking direct data directly as well. That means we can take data directly from sources. Like if I have to uh, take Oracle as a source. I can connect uh, Oracle to the Crystal Report and I can do reporting on top of it. So basically we have a direct communication and we also have indirect communication uh, to the Crystal Report side as a 
data source where we have a new tool which is coming into the picture called SAP Design Studio and this Design Studio is going to replace, replace my dashboard tool. Well guys, Design Studio is an enhanced version of my dashboard which is coming in the picture. Going forward, maybe dashboard will be no more uh, available inside the package and it will be called as SAP Design Studio. Let me tell you guys one more interactive uh, tool uh, coming into the market and popular where SAP has given a quick release uh, and uh, we have monitored that SAP haven't given as of now that much of releases of any module where SAP Lumera is one of the uh, predictive analysis tool offered inside a business object especially uh, nowadays uh, uh, for, uh, for doing any analysis immediately. So basically as a design studio is not stable tool Kevin and um, uh, we are learning dashboard. As from the course content you can see that we are covering web intelligence, web intelligence rich client, information design tools, universe design tool, crystal report, dashboard designer with query as web services tool, live office concept and widgets. So these are the offerings what we have over here inside this curriculum. Just to understand, we have a prospective that we can use it SAP Design Studio in future. Okay, not now. Where SAP Lumera, you might have hear, heard that those who are already interacted with this business object, SAP Lumera is one of my uh, visualization tool uh, used for predictive analysis. So let me uh, roll up this uh, whole slide over here guys and let me talk, talk about the uh, layout and offering we have because I can see there are a lot of uh, uh, people are confused about this uh, package packaging of my business option. So let me take you to the packaging side guys and then we are going to discuss the landscape where my business object is fitted in the SAP family and then we can go for question and uh, uh, question hours. Okay, so let me take you. Generally we have business object as one group created after acquisition of my business object company by SAP AG. So we have a group called business object. In this group, particularly in this group, three different type of solution will be provided by SAP. Those all three different type of solutions are my one is my business intelligence solution which we call it BOBI especially uh, not to forget SAP, B, SAP BOBI which is a reporting analytical tool where another solution offered inside the business object objects family is nothing but my EIM solution which is called as enterprise information management. In general we call it ETL. So SAP BODS is my ETL tool available inside SAP family which provide us EIM solution under the business object family. There is another group created guys under SAP called business objects group where it gives us three different types of solutions related to business. One is business intelligence solutions and we are going to learn this part of the solution in this curriculum. Not to forget this part of the curriculum we are going to learn and we are going to highlight the SAP BOBI 4.1 specific. Where Another type of solution we have underlying my business object is BODS, which is a ETL tool. The third solution offered inside my business object family is nothing but known as SAP BOTC, business object planning and consolidation, which we commonly call as BPC. BPC is a old naming convention where new naming convention what we have for planning and consolidation tool offered inside business object is BOPC. Well guys, not to have any confusion about that, we are covering ETL or BPC. We are, we are focusing on business intelligence part 
in this category. So let me put this uh, business objecting on more uh, elaborated format and uh, then we'll have understanding what are the tools offered inside it which we are going to learn. It. So inside this business intelligence package we have uh, three different categories. Uh, one is my admin category and uh, another one is my client category and another category we have is uh, nothing but my uh, other BI solutions. So what are the tools offered inside this BI uh, package? We have with uh, admin prospective and server prospective. In, with the release of 4.0 XIR4, what SAP has did, SAP has divided this package in two parts, server and client. Where previously, if you checked out XIR33.1, we haven't have two parts of it. We have a single part. So if you go for any deployment, you will get all your server and client tools both. But here, you can go ahead with the server uh, if you have to do only reporting, if you don't have to do a designing of your sources. If my client is working on BW and most of the reporting will be done based on the BEX, at that time, we don't have a use of my UDT and IDT, the designing tool. So there is no requirement of deploying your client uh, tools at your site. We can have my server part and I can do reporting on top of the DEX. So let me uh, say this is my server part offered inside this business intelligence uh, package and we have a client part over here. So in this uh, slide, we are going to look into what are the tools going to be offered and we are going to learn. Okay, there is another category I can say which is not under the package. This is a hard bounded area you can say and uh, this is a picture of my inside package and this is my picture of my outside package. Where outside package offer and give us uh, a group call. Crystal group. This is my crystal group. Sorry, uh, crystal group. Where crystal group offers two different uh, BI solution. That is nothing but uh, crystal report and uh, your uh, crystal dashboard. Which is a specific tool, guys, and uh, it is used for specific reports only. Where dashboard inclined to more interactive report in a flashy manner, where crystal report is used for pixel clear reporting, where we need highly customization of report. That time we were using crystal report. Well, guys, come to the part which covers the package, where the first tool we have underlying the server part which is used for administrative purpose is my CMC. CMC is my main administrative tool which is a web-based tool. What I mean by web-based is a tool can be operated through the browser directly. Web-based tool. It's a web-based tool that means it can be operated from any place. There's no constant of a place for administrator. When administrator, suppose like if he is not able, uh, available in the office and if he has to do any administration onto this entire environment, then he can do that administration from any location by using the URL. So web-based tool is nothing but a tool which is operated on web browsers. So CMC is my web-based tool. It's a web-based tool where the another offering inside is going to be Another admin tool known for server management called CCM. CMC stands for Central, Config, uh, Central Management Console, where CCM stands for Central Configuration Manager. Well, guys, these are the two admin tools we have offered inside this uh, 
a server part. Well, I'm just dividing the server part internally. Where some of the solutions are also being provided on server part for reporting purposes. Where we have a special category called BI Launchpad. It's a it's a Java portal. It's a Java portal used for uh, reporting and analysis purposes, mostly inclined for the end user. And it is also a web-based tool. It is also a web-based tool. That means uh, if you want to do analysis on top of your report, you can do it from any location. As I, as I mentioned, this, especially this tool, is focused more on uh, power user side. Mostly power users are working and operating on it, where developers are also using nowadays this tool. Well, most of the development in uh, most of the companies are going and taken onward by BI Launchpad nowadays, where some of the developments are taken over by Rich Client as well. Depending on the sources, we will have selection of tool guys. So under this server part, now we will have uh, administrative tool and we will have my uh, uh, development tool as well where we we don't have any uh, designing tool offered inside the server part so that's why I mentioned that if I'm using suppose like my client is using BW then I don't need my client tools if my client is using BW and he's having BW sources, which is as a back queries. Then at that point of time, I can go for deployment of server part of my business object, business standings for that one. And I can get this tool, where I can do the administration by using these tools. And uh, I can do the development of my report based on backs by using my BI Launchpad. Where especially under the BI Launchpad, we have uh, a famous offered tool used for business intelligence is Webby. We call it Webby, which stands for Web Intelligence Tool. In this BI Launchpad itself, I can get my Webby where majorly the whole report development will be done in the server part. So by the deployment of your server part, you can have your development of your report and analysis requirement done. If you have some of the data sources, relational data sources, uh, which we need to uh, restructure it onto the semantic layer side, then we need a client part. Suppose like we are not having a BW, we are having relational sources and uh, we know that there are a lot of complexity when you look into the database. If you are not a technical person, you can't um, easily read out the data which is placed in the database. Well, a lot of difficulty uh, clients used to face it when it comes to the end user side, the power user side, those who are functional guys, not technical guys. For this perspective, we have a solution offered by SAP uh, business objects especially called semantic layer. It's a middle layer where we do solution and remove all the complexity of my database and give it to the client at the front end. Basically, so uh, at that point of time, when we are dealing with relational sources, I, I need my uh, my uh, uh, designing tools, which is actually a part of my client part. Where the first client tools, uh, client tool offered inside this part is my rich client, which is nothing but web intelligence rich client. This rich client is famous for my some of the external sources which can be taken inside it and by using that we can do reporting on top of it. Well guys, web intelligence on BI Launchpad and web, web intelligence rich client as a desktop tool doesn't have much difference. All the functionality are same just that it has more data sources. Just it has more data sources which can be taken inside it for the reporting purposes. 
where we have mentioned that when we are going to deal with relational sources, we need to design a semantic layer. We need to provide a solution layer. So those solution layer provided by uh, these two tools, the older one will be used as UDT, which stands for Universe Design Tool, which is an old tool offered inside the business object package. And there is a new tool called IDT inside the package. So these are the two offering inside it for the designing purpose or giving a solution uh, to remove the complexity of my database at the client part. Well guys, uh, there are a few more tools offered inside the client part. We have is uh, Query as Web Services tool, uh, which we commonly call it uh, Quas. And uh, another uh, uh, client-based tool we have over here uh, is uh, my widget. So these are the tool we are going to learn it into the client part specially and these are the tool we are going to learn it into the server part specially. Where you could see that special uh, group which is a crystal group where we have two different types of BS solution offered inside this package. Uh, package of crystal group where these two tools are not been integrated inside the business object package. So you could say that in this curriculum, we are covering all the steel, but especially the business object, business intelligence package has these many tools. We don't have the crystal report, and we don't have my uh, uh, dashboard over here. Okay. Okay, one second. Let me see. For example, if we have a SQL DB, how do we proceed here? Okay, uh, this is a question asked by uh, Prithi, uh, Prithi. Well, Prithi, uh, basically, uh, if you have a SQL server as a database, which is a relational source, as I mentioned in this while discussing about my UDT and IDT, that when we have to access my relational sources, and we know that those sources are having some complexity. Uh, with the structures. So at that time we are taking client pipe and we are using UDT and IDT based on the requirement and I'm doing uh, designing of my semantic layer. Especially guys, moreover nowadays in the market we have started using IDT more and more. Well, still we are using UDT for getting a support of all the universes which has already been developed. But we wanted to see both the tools and what are the differences we have. I hope, Prothwis, your question has been answered perfectly. Yeah, especially when the data sources are already ready. I can say, let me give an example of this case where Prithvi is confused with where when we are going to use the server part and when the client part. Let me take an example of Prithvi where I have a client and uh, that client is using uh, BW as a source okay and the client has having a BW otherwise let me divide the whole work whole work of reporting and development of my uh, reporting let's say reporting and designing this whole work in two parts suppose like I'm a company who's looking for a report. I'm an ABC company who's looking for report. And uh, who is uh, looking for report and basically this report will be developed by me. This report will be delivered and developed by me who, whose name is Manoj. Okay. Well, the designing area, I'm not expertized in designing if I'm saying, then the whole picture, the whole picture of designing will be carried out for this client by some other person. That means some other person will design my universes at their end. Suppose like I'm holding a company called DWBI, which is giving a solution for data warehousing and business intelligence. Where the another guy is there, he's working in in Infi. Okay, Infosys. Infosys is the client who is looking for the designing purpose, who is doing the designing for this client. So, Infi will have the 
client part. But at my end, I will not have my client part requirement. I will have only my server part and my requirement will be done. If we have multiple DB, like when you say, if I have to do designing, I'll go with the entire package where we have client and server both included. Otherwise, if I have to do only reporting and analysis, we can, uh, we can go ahead by keeping the server part at our side. Because uh, this comes uh, when you go for licensing, the whole package will be uh, chargeable for the license. Not like that, the server and client part. So it's internally, like it's been divided in two parts and the deployment need a separate installation of your client where there's nothing to do with license. So if you want to put it, you can go ahead. Exactly, exactly, exactly. We are going to cover, we are going to cover all this part of, of my admin, uh, especially the admin part. Uh, not on database, uh, what, wait a second, user security we are covering. Uh, universe controlling we are covering. Okay, you might have picked up from somewhere from the web uh, website and you have uh, enlisted over here. Well, uh, uh, I can say, uh, you one, most of the developer-based administration we are taking it over here in this program. As I mentioned, this is developer track program, not a purely admin track program. Because, because when we go more on administration, we have to be keen on administration side. We can't look into the more on development. But most of the option, whatever you have written over here, like how do we publish here my universes, the reports, how do we do a scheduling of report, how do we do the report busting, how do we set up my, uh, uh, like how to create a user, how to put the security, how to authenticate any user, how to manage the licenses, how to manage universes, reports, reports coming from Webby, Crystal, those all things, we are taking it in this training program. But if you save more onto the server side, then we are not taking it in action in this curriculum, especially, okay? Okay, so let me move onward. As I mentioned, um, 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 Prithvis, we have two parts, reporting and designing. If we want to do designing, I'll go for my client part where it is not mandatory that I have to keep it both part, okay? If you want, it's based on to your working. Like, how do we work? Sometimes what I have seen, people are working and they are doing majorly development in rich client only. As for the protocol, they are not authorized to access directly the server. So they will install the client tools at their own system. And they will access the whole reporting and analysis by their client tools only, okay? No, uh, let me recall it one more time. Client part not only covers the modeling, it, it, it covers modeling as well as reporting. Yeah, all modeling will do it. So let me pick it up, uh, Prithvi, and uh, uh, we will uh, openly ask the question at the end where I'm going to put you uh, uh, the landscape site quickly so that we can have our understanding about where exactly my business object fitted in my SAP family. Well, this is nothing but my landscape. Guys, in a uh, SAP family, um, especially in the SAP family, you know that the prime source and the major product of SAP is my ERP system, by which the SAP AZ got popular in the market. So you could see that I can put my SAP ECC system, as we are going to talk about only the SAP family. I'm going to put my SAP ECC, which is a, a, a OLTP system, or it's my, uh, you can say, database for ERP, ECC, which stands for my, uh, my database or for ERP where we are going to manage my multiple uh, departments data. 
So this is my one of the stores, and we know that for reading of the data from here, we have a prime model offered by SAP, which is nothing but a BW. BW is always running on top of the ECC system. Whomever is having SAP ERP, they are having SAP BW as well. That doesn't mean that BW can take data from the other sources. There is two categorizations of BW having on data sources front. One is internal data source and external data source. What I mean by internal, we call it SAP data source and non-SAP data source. Where SAP data source, when we are talking about, we are focusing on SAP ECC. SAP ECC. Where BW has sort of extractor which can easily read out the data from my ERP system. Where BW is inclined for end-to-end -end data warehousing solution tool. This tool is capable of delivering end-to-end -end data warehouse solution where for the, those people, those who don't know what exactly the data warehouse stands for in the coming session, when we start the, uh, we'll start the regular classes, we'll talk about the data warehouse concept right there. Okay, so SAP BW, which is an end-to-end -end data warehousing tool, is running on top of the ECC system as a SAP source, where we have non-SAP sources as well here. by which my SAP BW is taking data, okay, where it includes my databases, my files, file systems, and all possible data sources available here, especially when I point it out onto the SAP uh, uh, search sources, we can say SAP ERP, CRM, SRM, uh, those all modules from where we can pick up the data into the BW site. Where BW is more inclined on end-to-end e -end data warehousing, where data warehousing need three di different combination. We need to do the modeling. Uh, we need to do uh, ETL here. We need to do reporting. Well, this reporting part of my BW is not that much powerful as I mentioned earlier as well. Reporting. SAP BW was lagging onto the reporting front, and this was the cause of uh, acquisition of my business intelligence at my SAP's end as a business object. Well, so BW reporting is now going out from the market. Those clients, those who are having SAP BW, they were facing a lot of issues that time when we haven't have the SAP business object. They were not able to do uh, the analysis in a proper way in an easy manner, especially for the ad hoc reporting, reporting done by the power users. The power users was facing a lot of issues when they are landing up here for analysis purpose. So as a solution, what SAP has decided to pick up any tool from the market or develop a tool uh, so that they can, uh, they can strengthen the SAP BW onto the reporting front so that clients are going to uh, use SAP BW as a, a, a modeling and ETL tool and there will be a specific tool where uh, they will do reporting. Instead of developing and enhancing SAP BW to make it more complex, they wanted to take it as a specific BI tool in the family. And in the year 2008, uh, uh, or you can say the formally 2007, is the year of acquisition of my business opportunity. So you could see that SAP BO, my SAP BO BI is running on top of my BW. So it's taking data from BW. It's taking data from the universes, which is a prime source for my reporting, as you know that. And universe is nothing but my semantic layer a solution layer offered between database and my front end. Okay, so universe. Well, you could see that your package is running on top of BW, where BW BEX is my, okay, yeah, exactly, exactly, Wing. exactly, BEX is your part. So I do a query designing and reporting underlying my BW under the 
BEX environment. So BEX is my actually a source by which I'm going to design my query and I can do reporting. The tool which is used for designing purpose of my query is called BEX Query Designer under BW and those which is used for uh, analysis purpose is known as BEX Analyzer. Well guys, now all the development which is done under my SAP BW and the designing which is done in BEX of BW will take BEX as a source for BOBI and we can do all the reporting part under the BOBI itself. So BEX will be my ultimate source at this point uh, by, by which we are interacting. As I mentioned with the release of 4.1 uh, SAP has opened a prospective by which we can directly take data from SAP BW. So they are planning to replace the BLEX out of this uh, picture. Yeah, exactly. BEX is going to be out, right? Right wing. BEX is going to be out going forward. The testing is going on. The, all those uh, R&D is going on. So once it will be stabilized, SAP will give it in the release. And that can let you connect directly with the SAP BW. Uh, database. Okay, so here I could see that SAP BOBI is running on top of BEX where it has also a source called Universe and there is one more category we have over here called Other Sources. So Other Sources will hold up my text file, Excel file, my web services option under the business option. Well guys, we know that Hello guys, uh, can you hear me now? Hello. Uh, sorry, we had uh, some uh, 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 issues uh, uh, coming up onto the uh, Citrix side. Sorry, sorry for inconvenience. Let me uh, go ahead. Okay, perfect. So guys, uh, SAP BODS, which is nothing but an ETL tool offered inside the business object uh, family, or you can say SAP family specifically. This tool has been taken uh, up into the picture to strengthen my new develop tool uh, by SAP which is more uh, popular in the market for its in-memory system which is nothing but a HANA. HANA is a database and it also has modeling. You can say HANA is more popular because of its in-memory system where it uses your uh, RAM to access the data and uh, to put the data inside it as a DB. So HANA as a DB, to strengthen the quality of HANA, we have BODS coming to the picture. BODS as an ETL tool is supporting HANA for delivering all the ETL concept and functionality. Where you could see that this BODS is running to help HANA to provide ETL functionality. Not only that, when we are going and doing any development under the HANA, I can do reporting on that, uh, on that uh, modeling by using having an integration of BOBI. So I have a direct communication 
with SAP HANA to BOBI. That means by using my IDT tool, I can connect to HANA and I can make HANA as a source for reporting under BOBI. Where reporting is supported by BOBI for HANA and ETL functionality will be supported by BODS. The only part which is left behind is my modeling part from end to end data warehouse solution where modeling is delivered by my ETL only, sorry IDT only. So IDT is delivering modeling. So we got the reporting, we got the ETL, we got the modeling here. So I can say by combining BOBI, BODS and HANA, we will have a complete end-to-end -end data warehouse solution at any business center. So going forward, you may can see guys, you will have a new picture in the market, a new solution in the market uh, offered by SAP, uh, which is a combination of SAP BOBI with HANA and BODS. That's why we have a model called SAP HANA with BO. And also we have a specific category created by SAP called SAP HANA or you can say SAP BW with HANA. That means we are taking data from ECC or any ERP system uh, into HANA in two ways. We can take data directly by using BODS from this ERP system or else we can take data uh, from BW to BODS and then to HANA. That is one flow we have over here uh, in this layout. You could see that uh, we can take data into HANA by using BODS from BW, which has actually been connected to ECC. So indirectly, I am taking data from ECC to BW. BW, we are doing modeling and ETL. And then BW as a source and HANA as a target will transfer the data by using BODS to HANA. That is one way. We have another way by using BODS we can connect to HANA and ECC. And we can take data directly over here. At that time, we have to do modeling by using IDT which supports the BOBI. So we can take any perspective. If the client has already the BW, they prefer to go with this path by taking this path. Otherwise, we will go with this path, which is directly uh, taking data into my HANA. So that is another picture what we have in the family, guys, which is coming up in the market and picking up the market, where Especially, as I mentioned, this SAP BW is more preferable tool in SAP family. BODS, a ETL tool, has a special instance for BW has been given. That means, under the BODS, we have BODS as, uh, sorry, BW as a source and BW as a target. BW as a source and BW as a target, two different instances has been given at this place. That means we can take data from BW, we can pull data from the BW. Both can be happened by using BODS onto any front. It doesn't matter the HANA. BODS also can be individually work as an ETL tool like Informatica and Data Stays, uh, my, uh, uh, like MS um, SSIS or any other ETL tools. So being into the SAP uh, family, if you look into the uh, entire landscape, how the tools are working, if you are taking up the whole suite of your SAP, uh, two, uh, SAP packages, then you'll have this layout present at your end. Basically, guys, BODS is an ETL tool. It can be independently worked in any environment. So, but it is more inclined on the HANA side, uh, which is uh, giving an ETL functionality to HANA and uh, uh, which supporting actually uh, ETL functionality to HANA, where BOBI is going to support HANA for its reporting functionality. So I do ETL by BODS, I do reporting by BOBI for HANA. The modeling will be dealt by IDT2. The whole integration to SAP BO uh, to HANA will be dealt by IDT itself. Where I just want to focus one more tool which is inside my SAP family,
R3 is for ERP, especially R3 is for ERP wing. When I'm using BODS, when I'm using BODS, uh, BW as a source or BW at target, especially I'm focusing on the situation where my databases are concerned. Because we have a special instance for relational databases under BW, where some of the complexity we have to take data uh, from databases to BW for uh, development. At that point of time, we will use BODS and we'll move a data from uh, my database to BW very easily. R3 is not uh, inter uh, okay. Uh, we use it. We have a BW connection. Sorry, a B BODS connection available in B uh, BW source system. And once we create like a RFC or I, I'll do FTP, anything we can do it at that place, and we can do the connectivity. Well, there is a special instance given in the 7.3 version of BW and 7.4 version uh, where there is direct communication happened with the BODS as an instance in the BW platform. And as I mentioned, guys, I'm going to also give you uh, a one more tool which is nothing but BPC used for uh, planning and consolidation solution offered inside the SAP family which is running mostly on top of my uh, BW source uh, which we call it natural version so it works on BW as a source and it also works on uh, you can say it also work on uh, version, MS version, where MS version is more focused on SQL Server. So we can do planning, we can do consolidation on top of my NetWear platform which is a BW source and my SQL Server platform which is Microsoft source. So we have two of the sources for this uh, business planning and consolidation tool. Well, Planning and consolidation, where well, consolidation took two parts, my financial consolidation and my legal consolidation. Yeah, go ahead, Wing. So you could see that where my BOBI stands inside this uh, whole family. You could see that BOBI is for support on BW. It on support on HANA. It can even take data from the universes and other sources. Okay. So basically, BOBI, the main tool which we are going to learn, the whole package we are going to learn, uh, we will see all the perspective: BW perspective, HANA perspective, universe perspective, and other sources perspective. Okay, guys. So this is my whole landscape of SAP family. This is how the a whole SAP uh, modules work inside the business side. Okay, so this is all about from the demonstration side. I'm going to unmute you guys, and you can go ahead and uh, you can ask question if you have. Kindly make sure that uh, uh, you are uh, uh, not using anything which is going to interrupt or uh, annoy anyone else in the meeting. Thank you. So guys, you can go ahead if you have any questions. Hello, I got a question. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, what's the status scheduling uh, tool for the entire picture of the SAP, um, SAP solution? Uh, just like, for example, if I get data from, from ECC to BW, then get the BW to uh, SAP TS, then to HANA. So what's the scheduling tool is to schedule this kind of uh, complex of jobs, like, you know, IBM Tivoli, you know, schedule different kind of job from different software. So what's the scheduling job, that's the scheduling tool for this thing? First of all, what is your job? Like, is this an ETL job or you have developed a report? The if entire ETL, thing. Uh -huh. Sorry, the entire thing is like if you, you know, first the step one is to get data from ECC to BW, and the step two uh -huh. is to get BW, the data from DBW to BODS, then to HANA. 
for example, like uh -huh. this, three steps. So what what's the what's the tool is to organize this organize this this, this data flow or workflow or job, you know, from yeah. into kind of uh -huh. Uh -huh. this way. Uh -huh. Yeah, three steps, yes. Okay. All right then. So basically, you you can see that when you concern about the connectivity over here, you could see that one second. Uh, you could see that uh, we are using uh, at this place, especially at the ECC side, we are using RFC, and which has been categorized as uh, my uh, DB Connect and my OLE Connect connectors, which is used to connecting my BW to the ECP, SAP ECC system. And when there is a matter of concern when we are going to communicate with the BW to BODS, at that time, my my ODBC or my JDBC will come in the picture. Also I can say, as I mentioned, we have a special instance. We, can't, uh, we can go without these ODBC and JDBC connector where we have inbuilt connection available inside the BODS especially for BW. That's why the two instance has been given as a data store for BODS, BW as a source, and BW as a target. So just you have to pick up those source and target and you will be able to connect, communicate with SAP BW being as a source and being as a target by using BODS. So BODS has some inbuilt integrations already been kept up with the release of 4.2 BODS 4.2. We have uh, uh, inbuilt connections already been defined with these instances where when it comes to talk about from HANA to BODS communication, we are using these connectors again at this place. That means we will prefer to go with ODBC and JDBC communication at being in this place. Let's go ahead, Wing. Is it clear, Wing? Uh, uh, yeah, that's answering my, uh, one of my questions. And another question is uh, uh, which tool is to organize this? I mean, for, you know, from ECC to BW, mm -hmm. it's just first step, I, like a read a job, right? When this job mm -hmm. completed, then you will get data from, from BW to, to BODS, that's step two, and then we'll run another job. And from BODS to HANA, there's th step three, and that's another job. So, uh, you know, this is like a successor and a pr pr predecessor. So what, what, what's, what's, the, what, what's the thing, what's the tool to organize this successor and, and the predecessor? Uh, am I clear? Uh, yeah, yeah, you are clear. Basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, wh what I mean is like uh, you need to get a, a step one completed, then you go to step two, then you go to step three, one by one, right, step by step. So, yeah, what's the organized, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, what, what our company is doing like is using IBM Tivoli to mm -hmm. do the job scheduling. To like to get data from ECC to BODS, then from BODS to to R code data, data warehouse, then to Cognos report. So this all this all steps are scheduled by Tivoli. So what was this? Well, any no, there's nothing needed over here as an extra third party tool for managing all those things. These uh, modules has itself has a capability that it can move data from one place to another place. There's no other management tools or entire job management tools needed for any scheduling. It has own inbuilt schedulers available in each front when you go as one process and successor of it. There's no separate tool required. That is the typicality of your SAP modules, guys. Uh, okay, so sounds like is, I can, I can set up. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So sounds like I, uh, for example, in SAP BW, um, uh -huh. I use RFC to get data from S E. Um, you know, I need to, in because because in ERP there are a lot of jobs to run the data as well, right? From uh -huh. from uh, from some tables from from in front to some tables. So uh, yeah. like I need uh, I need to set up. I can set up a uh, the predecessor and predecessor in BW for the data mm -hmm. from ERP to DBW, then mm -hmm. I can set up the, uh, 
the successor to VODS because I don't see I don't see any you know, I don't see any jobs you know success and, and predecessor set up in VODS. It's, it's there and already it's there because you're uh, if you look into the SAP BW environment you'll find mm -hmm. out SAP BW as a source is already been declared as a source system where BODS as a source is also been declared as a separate instance. So you'll find out as a source system we have under BW my ERP my BW as a source as well VODS as a source, file system as a source, DB Connect as a source, UD Connect as a source. So there are a lot of more source systems already been integrated over here, which has already the connectors. They used to connect itself. We don't need a separate tool to manage it. If you want to schedule the job, you can schedule being into the same environment. You don't have to go anywhere else. So you mean you mean set up the the predecessor and the successor in BW, right? Exactly. For, for the, exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. Oh, got it. Thank you so and much. No question. Oh, you're all right. All right. Not a problem. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Any more questions, guys? From any there? We can go ahead one by one. Just kind of ping me in the chat because I can hear a lot of noise out there. But just ping me in the chat. I can unmute you and you can ask question, and you can interact with me as well. Go ahead, guys. Write down your question in the chat or just say, raise your hand. I can unmute you. Just raise the hand. I can unmute you, guys. There is an option over here called raise hand. Okay, perfect. All right. Go on. Go ahead. Yeah, hi, Manoj. Uh, during the training, like, uh, uh, which which are the databases with, uh, you know, which will interact uh, uh, during the course? Most mostly like, we are going to interact interact with the databases in this curriculum is my access database and SQL Server. We are okay. just looking onto the integration on HANA part because when we go into the taking data from HANA, we could do it, but again, that will raise a question how it has been managed and all that. Because we are pretty aware about the access database and SQL Server database. We are using both of the data sources. Okay, the uh, the SQL Server database it is like 2008 or 2012 BI. 2008 RQ. Okay. Which one is uh, like it is a recommended one um, by SAP with the release of 4.0. SAP start recommending a SQL Server 2008 R2 as a default database. Okay, and like in terms of industry, like examples that you say you have worked in uh, different industry, like different you know domains, yeah. so yeah. we will have a chance to cover like good example on each and every kind exactly. of exactly, exactly. I'll put it across because all the concept first we learn it by example and examples. Okay, mm -hmm. each and every functionality, and I'll put it across all those experiences I have. I'm having in different different domain in front of you, especially. Uh, when we are dealing with uh, typically those functions, okay, so we so will have the, a simple. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, in, the, in the end of this training, uh, uh, we can we can put on our like uh, CV that hey, uh, at least kind of you know, three to four years experience with business objects or two to three years experience with business objects. Um, uh, if you talk about in US, I have seen people uh, after finishing my training program has gone with the ten years experience. They okay. are capable of doing reporting related to 10 years. But especially if I say, uh, if you focus on these domains where you are purely not expertise, I'm just sharing my experience. Mm -hmm. Maybe you might be there and you may can gain more experience, right? So it's all depend. I'm sharing. So it's my experience which has been shared with you and you are aware about that. You haven't gained the experience by your own. So with the safer side, always we say, when we say, we, we pick always one domain that we are expertise in this domain, and uh, um, uh, we can say like uh, I am like um, um, I can deliver any uh, expertise level of uh, my uh, skill set on this particular domain. Like you can choose any domain. I can say sales and dis distribution is one domain where I'm purely expertise, and I can go to any extent. So that is something where you gather a lot of information. You can deal with any scenario. But if you say like five of the domain you are expertise, the expectation from the clients end or the end users end will be more. But you can project your profile at least of five years. That will be on the safer side, you can say. 
Okay, and right. do we we will have a chance to interact universe with uh, this SAP HANA database? Uh, we'll try that. Depending on to the server access we have, uh, we'll try okay. to manage. I'll try to create one um, uh, one database, which is I'm going to take it in IDT for designing of my universe. Okay, and uh, I, uh, you said that the training would be around 45 hours. Yeah. Uh, so, like the normal timing will be the same, or it will be a different timing uh, during the. Uh, we are planning for the same time, and uh, the time goes to one and a half hour every day on weekdays. Okay. Okay, and like in uh, like every time you just like start the class, uh, just after that we can have the recording of that. E exactly. That you can uh, get it from the organizers. Okay. Like you can get it from BASP. They will provide you the all the recording. Okay. Like we will have access directly to the server, or we will use our IDT or UDT tools. No, no, no. You will have a directly um, uh, server access. Means you will be given a separate server access uh, as a user. Okay. Where you can use your uh, admin tool, your server-based tools, your client tools all together at one place. Okay, because like uh, somebody told me, like I have a, I have heard that like if you use a client tool, it is more fast, and in terms of you know time saving. Exactly, but uh, I'll tell you nowadays people having uh, a deployment of the server, which is uh, like, like uh, which speed gives you the speed like anything. Okay, got it. And one last question, like uh, in the end of the training, uh, will you like? Uh, uh, help us, or will you uh, kind of create a kind of you know uh, small project from you know scratch to the end? How it works in the real time industry from really to scratch kind of you know any any project in the field of finance or insurance or whatever. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll show you uh, how the uh, financial do like the document used to be created at, at the beginning and okay. how it will be read it on and how it will be proceed out if it is a prospective or recording. Okay. Okay, thank you for my side, that's all. Thank you, Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead, Wayne. Um, sorry, I just got one more question. So, for this training, we're going to do, do like a, a virtual project ba based or just knowledge based, like, you know, like a PBD and uh, uh, everything uh, on screen. Uh, uh, virtual this we can say that because um, uh, we have a lot of audience those who are not uh, into this uh, especially I can say uh, when we are starting off with this curriculum we'll always incline our example which is real time based not uh, project based dealing where we are um, like I'm going to pro provide you some of the uh, starting point uh, which is needed to be picked up like a documentation functional documentation for reporting purposes on the business object perspective. So, so when you I, I, I uh, yeah knowledge sorry. base with uh -huh. some of the tips related to uh, your project, I can say. So that sounds like you can practice. Project. Yeah, yeah, you can practice. Practice in your uh, with with your uh, the, the access from the organizer, right? Exactly. I get I, I get access. Yeah, access. Okay. So what 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 kind of access I can have? It's like a is is a BOBI, uh and BB, you know, as BOBI or B, BOBI plus BW or HANA or, or, or just BOBI. Um, uh, you will you will be uh, having access of BOBI uh, supported with the uh, uh, BW especially. I don't think the HANA will be given to you, but okay. uh, especially BOBI with uh, BW. Okay, got it. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else who want to have a question or okay, go ahead. You want? Yeah, hello. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hi, Manoj, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, sorry, maybe it's a stupid question. <laughs> uh, when we install, like, uh, business objects on a server, uh -huh. uh, what are the, like, you know, let's say, uh, components we install? Yeah, components we install. Let's say when we have business object server, uh -huh. do we also install crystal report server? No, no. no? See, uh, generally what happened in the CMC, we have an instance of everything, right? When, uh, by deployment of other parts like crystal report and dashboard which has already been given in the CMC just it will connect to CMC and start uh, uh, working uh, uh, and doing administration by using CMC itself 
So when you go only for deployment of your SAP business object, business intelligence, for that one part for server, you won't have the crystal and dashboard that you're in, right? So there's no requirement of your servers. But servers are already been given. Okay, so the servers are... We yeah, only, we only install like, like uh, business object BI server 4.1. Exactly. If you need Crystal, you ca you have to go for separate installation. And once you install it, because the server is already there, it will automatically connect and start mm -hmm. working. Okay. Coordinate it with your repository. Okay. In real time, let's say a company install business object server, okay. and if the company want to use let's say business uh, let's say business object Crystal report or dashboard reports. Uh -huh. They put these tools on the client desktop or on the server. Basically, it's a client's tool. Okay. 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 So they deploy on the client side, but basically on the client desktop, and they will connect it with the server. They have the instance of server which is running in CCM for support of the Crystal report. So what they will do, they will configure it, and by using those uh, configuration, they will connect with the Crystal. Because Crystal is not more onto the universe side, which is a prime source of a business object, right? Crystal okay, is so more so on to connecting directly to the data sources, like any okay. data sources. So my intention is not to do, uh, uh, like, not to be run based on how business object run. Okay. I can use it as an individual BI tool, and I can pick up the data from the servers wherever the databases are sitting. Okay, that's a good. Actually, that will help us to learn more. So basically, a company they will put this crystal reports on the client desktop, and they will configure with the server wherever the server exactly. is. Okay. Exactly. Right. True. Okay. Thank you. Got it. Yeah. Guys, anybody else has any question? Kindly go ahead and uh, the raise your hand so that I can answer your question. If you have any queries, any question. You are most welcome. I'll please to answer it. Well, guys, if you don't have any question, we are good to go. But let me uh, quickly go go through with the uh, the thing which is going to be delivered at your end as course material. Like I have created a, a SAP BO documents library where I have a PPT material, PDF material, some of the screenshot for steps, followed by some of the uh, special reports related to Webby, Crystal, and Dashboard are there. Some of the sources also I have taken from the a different different group in Access Database, where it will be shared with you on which you can practice uh, for designing a universe, and then you can do reporting on top of it. Where you can see that at the end, if you want to figure out how it will be your or, uh, how it will be your uh, resume or your CV, then I can help you on that perspective as well. I can show you the default template which is followed in US, especially uh, for uh, like uh, you can uh, go and uh, search a job in the market by yourself by this resume, which is a special template highly picked up in the market for business option. So in this training dump, I have a lot of data already been kept up as a source and. Uh, uh, and and the other part of it is my um, uh, as my uh, reporting source and my universe designing source for different different uh, sectors or different different domain. That is one thing which will be delivered apart from the uh, training recording. And one last question regarding the certification and materials. Uh, if you have any queries related to certification and material. You can come personally, and personally means like you can uh, shoot an email to me, uh, especially going through with the session. I can help you out with giving some sample certification question included with the interview question that you can prepare, and you can go for certification on business object associate level. Guys, anybody else has any question? I have unmuted all of you. <laughs> So the course starts from next next Monday or yeah, class started from next Monday, guys. You have enlisted date and uh, 
you might have uh, got the email. Well, guys, if you don't have a question, I can say we are done with this.